Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. I'm doing an intro today, so you know, that's really cool. But have you guys ever worked on a project where you had to use titles to overlay on top of video or photos or pretty much anything like in After Effects and just wasn't looking good? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can use clean titles without having to do any gradient overlays, drop shadows, just being able to put it on top of video and make it look nice. So we're gonna look at typefaces and positioning of your title. So let's jump into the video and let's get to work. Okay, so this is gonna be the first title that we create in this tutorial. Let's go over to our composition over here, which I all I have in here is the photo. And let's go and type our text at the top. And we'll type clean titles. Obviously we have to do a little bit of tweaking to this title because it's not good at all. So let's go over here, here to our character window and there's three typefaces that I like to use. Beep as new, lotto, and Gotham. In this case, we're just going to use Beep as new. And we'll come here and make this a little bit bigger. So here's the issue of this title is that even though this typography is really nice, in my opinion, that it's really hard to read because of our background image. There's a lot of contrast here and a lot of brighter areas of our image that makes this title kind of hard to read. And even if we go ahead and make this title a black title, it's still nearly impossible to read. So we'll keep it at white. And what we can do is go to layer new solid and we can make this make sure this layer is a black solid and we'll click okay and what i like to do is just add an overlay underneath the text without having to do a drop shadow so i'll hit t on my keyboard for opacity and load this down to like 36 percent make sure this is underneath your title layer and as you can see now we're able to actually read the text and this is obviously a nice overlay that you can put on top of your image and you can animate it in so it does make sense so we, here we have our title and let's go ahead and continue to perfect this so we can read it now, which is great. Let's go to the Align tab and let's just center this up. And if you don't see the Align tab, go up to Window Align. And you know, there's that. And I also like to uh, hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and double click the Pan Behind tool. So if I decide to do like any scaling, I can just have this right in the center of our anchor point without having to reposition anything. So I think that's really cool. And we'll go ahead and type in our subtitles. So we'll come over here and we'll type in, you know, great design or something. And this is obviously gonna be our subtitle. We'll change it to white real fast. So even though we have nice typography, this does not read very well. I mean, this is supposed to be a subtitle. And what we need to do is create contrast within our titles here. So to make this really stand out, we're going to completely change this up. We're gonna change the typeface, we're gonna change the weight, and we're gonna change the size. So I'm gonna to go to one of my other favorite fonts, or typeface, excuse me, called Lato. And I'm gonna do a Lato light. I mean, this is what I like about having font families. You can ha quickly go through all these real fast. And we'll do Lato light. You know, this is looking good. We'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So maybe we'll do like 60, maybe a little bit bigger. And we'll go up here and center this up. And we wanna kinda of actually keep the same amount of distance between the characters and the two words over here. So, you know, something like this be very nice. And obviously now if we come here Take a quick look. This has nice contrast in it. And if we look at a 50% view, this is very easy to read. I mean, we might even want to push up the overlay just a little bit more, make it a little bit easier. This is something that's very easy to read. It's not necessarily centered within our composition here. So the one thing to keep in mind when you're doing these titles is what platform are you showing your video on? For example, if you're showing this on a TV screen, having a title this small can work. But if you're showing this on YouTube or something, understand that a lot of people might be viewing your video and a smaller display. And also keep in mind that the compression can make some of your text look a little bit pixelated on YouTube. So, I mean, viewing it at this sort of view, like a 50% mode, can kind of give you an idea how the title is gonna look at a small display. So this is always good at the, you know, I would never really work too much on this sort of end because you can obviously read that just fine. And just zooming out a little bit can kind of give you an idea of how big the titles will read on a smaller display. So keep that in mind. So we can use a nice solid to create these nice clean titles and make them stand out. And of course you can completely reverse this. You can have a white background with black text. Of course you can do that. So we're going to spend like a minute looking at the other titles real fast. I will come back and animate all three of these titles and show you how you can do some very clean animation. But let's go back over to title two. And if I wasn't animating this, I would have done this in Illustrator. But here we are into this comp. I just want to talk about the uh, design of this. So obviously we have this nice contrast. This is obviously in a lower third. It's very clean and easy to use. It's not overthinking it. So over here, obviously we're using the typeface Lato. We have bold and we have light down here, just smaller. As you see, we have this very nice contrast. It's legible, it's aligned correctly. 
and we're using more of the lower third section. And always make sure to bring up your title safes. You can go ahead and click on the crosshair and click on title action safe. So with title safes, you don't necessarily want to have your text going outside of this box. It just looks a little bit weird first off. But most importantly, this is just a reference to see what's going to get cropped when you put it on, say if you're going on TV or something. And I would, if you're going, if this is going on TV, I wouldn't even put the titles like right here because technically this box right here is te is going to be where the cropping is going to take fact take place at, and then this will be like an edge of your TV. And just something to keep in mind. I once did a TV spot where the, the you know the entire image was cropped to this you know inner box right here. And that's my phone. And basically, you know that was uncalled for. So you're going to want to just definitely keep that in mind. If you're going on TV, you might want to keep it in this inner box here. And I want to keep this at the edges of the frame here. It just looks a little, a little bit weird. But, you know, that's that title. Let's go take a look at the third title. And this one, obviously, we have, we're using the same concept. We have the, uh, you know, the box here on the left side of the frame here going from the center. And this is a nice way that we can position this. You know, once again, we're using a solid layer. We have the opacity down around like 46%. And we're using the typeface Lado again. I'm using the regular font. And down here is a light font. And we're able to left align this and make this look really nice. So there's a nice way that we can do these titles. Now let's talk about animating these. So hopefully you guys get an idea of how you guys can set these titles up and make them look modern. Let's go ahead and start animating these titles and I'll go one by one and we'll animate them. So for this title, we kind of did like an inward animation here where the titles kind of come in from one center point. And we're going to go ahead and do that right here and talk about how we did that. So the first thing that we did was we want to break up these two titles here into separate text layers. So what we can do is, you know, just copy the word titles, uh, delete it. And then we can select our solo text layer here, go up to edit, duplicate. And we can offset it a little bit, try to really match that back up to where it was. And we can paste it in our word titles. And we're looking good. Of course, we can select all three of these layers. We go back to the align tab. And when you select, and when you have three or more layers selected, you get the distribute layers uh, category over here. And we can go ahead and center this up horizontally. And you see the... Uh, text here is now centered and that looks good. So what we want to do now, now is animate this. So let's select all three of these titles, hit P on our keyboard for position, add a keyframe for position, move them forward in time to like, I don't know, four seconds. And let's go to clean and let's move this over here. So where titles is at and let's move titles over to where clean was at and let's bring great design up like this. So now obviously we have this very weird animation here, but you know, we're, we're working on it. And maybe we'll bring these keyframes into like, you know, just two seconds. Now we can come here and be offset the titles by a little bit. Go to the great design and, you know, maybe offset that by a little bit as well. And let's make all these last keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And I usually don't make the first keyframes easy ease keyframes because there's really no point. You're not going to see it. So the last keyframes, as long as they kind of have a nice little slowdown, a deceleration at the end, that's all I'm looking for at the beginning. It doesn't really matter. But this is nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose each of these layers individually. So we'll go to the clean layer. We'll go ahead and go up to layer, pre-compose, and you can call it clean title. I'm going to call it clean. You can call it clean title. I'm going to call it just clean tut. Click OK. You're going to pre-compose the other layers. So layer, pre-compose. We'll call it title tut. And we'll call this one design. Okay, so we're looking great. Let's go to like towards the end of the animation here. Let's select our clean title and let's grab the rectangle tool and just draw out like a nice box towards here, like in the middle here. So bring up your title safes real fast and let's make sure to select the, you know, right vertices and put this right in the middle of that crosshair there. So now we scroll through here. You'll see that the clean text is not going to be originally on the screen. And if you want, you can do a little bit of a feather. I'm not going to do it. I don't see the point in it, but we'll go ahead and select mask one copy it, go to titles and paste that on there and then hit M on your keyboard for mask and set it to subtract. So now we'll have these two titles come in here. It looks great. And then for the design uh, title down here, the subtitle, we'll come here, zoom in and we'll draw like a very thin mask underneath our title here and we'll set it to subtract. And now we have this epic three-way animation here. And it looks very clean, very great, nice animation. And if you guys want, we can also animate the background to come in a little bit. So I'll go here and offset these just by a little bit, maybe like half a second. And we can animate the background to fall in here. So we'll just do like a position animation, hit P and keyboard for position, add a keyframe, move that forward in time, and we'll just shoot this 
up right above the screen like so. Awesome. And we make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9. And that looks great. I like it. I like it a lot. Great. And make sure to turn on motion blur for all four of these layers. Turn it on at the top and you're good to go. Let's talk about title two over here. So this one can be a little bit more simple. So we can do very basic position keyframing for this one. So grab all three of your layers here, like your te two text layers and the solid, hit P and keyboard for position, add a keyframe for that, and move them forward in times like maybe just two seconds. Go to the beginning of our timeline here, and we'll move our clean title off screen like so. We'll move the subtitle off screen like here, and then we'll also maybe we'll just do like the lower third from the left side. So we have something come from the right, left, and bottom here. So it looks really nice. So obviously we'll want to have our solid on first. So maybe we'll make this like a second animation. And of course, first of all, make uh, these last keyframes easy, easy keyframes, and then we'll move this one in by a touch. We'll offset this, and we'll offset their subtitle. So now we should have something like this, and we'll just move this over a little bit. Yeah, so that looks really nice. And maybe we'll bring the subtitle in a little bit quicker. But it looks really good. Make sure to turn on motion blur, and obviously that was very easy. So let's do something that has a little bit more complex animation. So let's go to our big title here, our main title, and let's go to effects and presets. Let's go to animation presets, go to text, go to animate in, and go to, make sure you at the beginning of your timeline here. And we're gonna grab the straight in by character, put this right on top of your title. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have like this shuffle coming in here, you know, ba very basic, but obviously we have a lot of tweaking to do. So what we can do is hit uh, U on our keyboard twice, so double tap U and you'll see all the effective parameters, and you'll see a parameter called position. It's not the one underneath the transform property, but there's this one called position. And what we can do is lower this right about here underneath our comp, and we'll set the X position to zero, and you'll see that this will kind of just jump in just like this, and I think it looks really good. Make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe. I think that should be cool. Maybe make them both easy, easy keyframes for this case. I think that'll be really nice, and maybe bring this into like two seconds. So now we'll have this, very nice animation coming in by character. And then for our subtitle, we can do like a slow fade on, drag this right on top of our subtitle, hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes, make them both easy ease keyframes and just move them over just by a touch. So now we have this very nice, you know, animation here with our title. And for our shape layer, we'll just once again, do a very nice position animation. And we'll make that last keyframe an easy ease keyframe. So that looks really good. Make sure to turn on motion blur. And if you were following along with this tutorial, you should have gotten something like these three results here. Very nice, very clean, very legible. You can read it and it's very modern. I like it. And here's title two for like more of a lower third. Of course, maybe you want to speed these up. I was just going for more of a, just making sure that we were doing it correctly, but yeah, it looks good. And for title three, definitely a little bit more, I guess, trendy with this you know, half title here. I think it's really cool. So I don't know guys. So there's a lot of possibilities what you can do with this clean design. Obviously you don't want these drop shadows anymore or anything that doesn't look so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And please be sure to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Those links are in the description of the video. And I hope you guys have a great day.